Hello, Art Friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Uh, yesterday's Patreon-only video was about this topic right here, armed Chinese sleeper cells in the U.S. itself. Actually, I mean, it, it's been given that there are hundreds of sleeper cells in the country. And regardless uh, of whether... Um, we're viewing this with cynicism or not however we're you know there's this this deniability in some people's minds that you can't get through to uh yeah yeah i'll believe it when i see it well you know you might not have to wait too long because things are getting pretty obvious um just be prepared is really what we want to say and we do want to thank our newest um patreons because we do have four new members we do. We want to thank Edgewood21, TGIB, Jennifer, and Dara. Thank you. Thank you guys so much uh, again for your support. You enable us to keep going in these crazy times. They are crazy. This is a case of an acorn hitting a car. This car is a police officer's car with uh, a suspect handcuffed in the back of it. The acorn hits the car and the officer panics and starts shooting. Um, you know, there's been a lot of crazy acts lately. People are tense. People are very, very tense. This is in o Okaloosa County. People are very tense, and I gotta say, I do believe some people are being triggered in more ways than one. Uh, again, there is all sorts of technology out there and in fact, you know, I had a dream slash vision about that voice of God technology being used. And I do think they are doing trial runs. This is curious. Um, I, again, unsubscribed. Everywhere we go, we're always going to get unsubscribed, guys. This is just a fact of the matter. Make sure you are subscribed uh, to all the channels, uh, Evolutionary Energy Arts, EE Arts, Hearts Ohm, uh, there are links on every video to each of them. Again, we are on Rumble, Brighty and BitChute as well. Uh, and you can find uh, the videos going up on Ko-Fi and everything, everything goes up on Patreon. So Secretary Mayorkas was officially impeached 214 to 213 in the House. It goes to the Senate. The Democrats control the Senate, so it will most likely die there. Uh, yet again, you know, the bigger point here is division in the country and just uncovering how deep the betrayal of the country by its power structure is. And it's, it's mind-blowingly deep. But it's, again, really what we're talking about is a betrayal of humanity by those at the top that pretend to be in service to humanity. But no, they're doing quite the opposite. And the opposite is really the case. I know, you know, I mean, when it comes to what's going on in, in you know, the, the Senate, the, the, the D.C. area, to me, it's just all show. You know, it's like, oh, we're going to show them and then nothing happens. Oh, well, but then something did happen. But wait, we have to go serve it over here so they can deny it. And then again, still nothing happens. To me, every time I see stuff like this that they just did, it is such a waste of time. But, you know, they do it for optics. After the border bill failure, ICE considering mass releases of, of illegals to close the budget gap. You have a $700 million budget shortfall. It, take the money from somewhere in the defense budget. You know, again, we understand the defense budget is really a money laundering budget, so why not take some from there? Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Again, it, it they can't interfere with the bigger plans because... None of the governments of the world have really any power. The, they just answer to another authority. And while the world is working up, there's still so much work to do. And we see it. We still see it where you, you're like, yay, this person's waking up. Yay, that person's waking up. But then they still show that they're still deep, deep in the system. In one way or another, because this system is so layered, so layered in so many ways, uh, that they have so many bases covered. Again, how many times have we gone through these cycles? We, we don't know, but many, many, many times. Eight of the eight known suspects in the New, New York Police Department beating 
are illegal aliens who were let in, obviously, in 2023. Seven from Venezuela. Um, a lot of the illegal migrants that have come into the country are from Venezuela. Uh, a ton, in fact. One of them from Ecuador. Six invaded through Texas. The two others crossed the northern border through Canada. While all eyes have been on the southern border, uh, for instance, probably the most looked at border is in Texas, yet we have seen that uh, in recent weeks, the Texas border uh, has not been the most porous. It's actually been more over towards Arizona and also in California. But the northern border, the northern border, I, we don't really pay attention to that as much. It hasn't been the buzz, but yet it's gigantic. It, it's like the largest, quote unquote, free uh, border on the planet between two nations, even though we understand uh, national identities in some ways are an illusion, obviously, with everything that's going on. You have a New Jersey gang of illegals smuggling in other illegals through the Canadian border for the price of $6,000 a head. Yeah, you know, if you just scroll down and look at you know, what's going on on X with migrants at the Canadian border, uh, you can see they're flooding into rural communities. Uh, and uh, notably, I saw reports talking about them flooding into Vermont and in my mind, if we were in New England, where would I think is one of the better places to be? Probably up in Maine, uh, Vermont, New Hampshire. Uh, there's some decent spots up in New York State, too. But again, they're covering all the bases. They're, they're hitting us from every single angle. As you see, again, they are flooding through there at an unprecedented pace. And, you know, they can be setting up shops and be aware, New York residents routinely find illegal migrants sheltering from the cold in their barns. In their barns. you got to be careful about entering, you know, say you went to go check on something in the middle of the night and, and you're out in the country. Uh-oh, one of the tabs has crashed. Hmm, I wonder which one that was. Uh, you're out there in the country and you don't think anything of it because you don't think anybody's going to be around. You might find people there. You might find people there, and, and they might not have good intentions. So, you know, again, watch this because, you know, you have a lot of people making note of it. And, and this is uh, the governor, uh, Greg Gianforte. And so he says today, I directed the Guard Montana to identify resources to support you know, down in Texas in their efforts. But what about your Montana border with Canada? This is what we were saying, you know, okay, let's ship them all to Texas. And there could be some sort of FF event, if you know what I mean, fake banner event. Meanwhile, how about that northern border? They're, they're coming through there every day, too. And then, you know, again, so much of the National Guard is not even in the nation. Then you have this. This is the House Intelligence Committee Chair Mike Turner revealing a serious national security threat. It's allegedly related to Russia. They, he is, all he says in this two minutes and like 40 seconds is nothing. <laughs> all he says is, yes, there's a threat. I'm going to discuss it with the gang of eight uh, tomorrow. That's all I could say. And then they ask questions and he reiterates the same. Well, what do you think it is? People are saying it may be related to Russian military capabilities from a space-based platform. Uh, as you see, these people saying, uh, sources are telling Fox News uh, that what they're talking about is Russian capability. And when you look to Russian capability and you might say, what, they're bogged down in Ukraine. You know, they've lost, what, 11 ships, 12 ships, 13 ships. You know, again, the art of war. When strong, make like you're weak. When you're weak, make like you're strong. It, it is totally the art of war. And China hasn't entered uh, the fray yet. North Korea, you know, for all that we might want to think that is wrong with North Korea, they do have one of the largest militaries on the planet. And they haven't entered it yet. And, you know, yet again, we could probably add another six to ten countries that will immediately join into the fray on the Russian-Chinese side of things. 
And the one thing that they've really, really telegraphed is these hypersonic missiles and different types of platforms uh, in which to deliver it. When you look to certain prophecies, and we've covered all sorts of prophecies uh, from George Washington's vision, obviously Nostradamus, uh, Alois Ermeiler, there's others out there too that have seen uh, the attack that comes. In fact, I, I venture to say uh, that there's probably almost an innumerable, an innumerable amount of people that have had visions of this that simply have not shared it openly because we always get comments um, that yes, I've seen it too and I've had visions too of, of what's to come and I've noticed it when I've looked at you know videos on Nostradamus or other ones that have had these visions and people sharing their comments too because our collective consciousness can tap into timelines. We can connect uh, with each other, we could connect to possibilities and probabilities. And, you know, again, when you're talking such a big, serious matter as WW3 and uh, the Red Dawn invasion that's well underway, uh, obviously many of us will, will have an inkling of what's going on. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's really, really important right now to keep that in mind understand that we are a collective conscience and we do have the power to tap into these timelines but we also have the power to change <clears throat> timelines we are definitely um <clears throat> connected in so many ways it's almost unfathomable but with everything we have coming at us it, it is so overwhelming. It is overwhelming. So many people cannot see it. And so many of you are able to sit and take in the entirety of it. And I know it can be frustrating because your family members are just completely blind to it. But keep in mind, it, it, right now, they, they can't see it. It's not that there's they're bad at all in any way, shape, or form. They love you. You know, they're in your life and you're, you are in their life. It's just they cannot see the entirety. So I see so many of you as light anchors and just doing your thing, holding that light wherever you're at, holding the light of truth. So when the time does come, you are there. Yeah, there have been so many uh, warnings of cyber attacks, and that's an obvious one. Also, the possibility of EMPs. They've done official studies on this, you know, an EMP uh, situation, which doesn't necessarily have to be one EMP. It could be multiple EMPs. Again, the altitude has a bearing as well as the strength of uh, what is exploded. They could use it in a targeted manner. And again, of course, they want the internet up. That's part of their control system. But they also want to shift the power structure from the NATO countries to the BRICS countries, at least for an interim time uh, until they usher in the totality of their new system that they have in mind. But then yet again, there's human will. And also all the changes that are coming through uh, from a galactic and a solar nature which is changing the consciousness of humanity itself the war is very very ongoing and this is in iran where there were several more explosions on pipelines uh, so you do have this going on iran says this is an attack an act of sabotage more than likely uh, israel was involved in this as you see it, yeah attacking pipelines attacking energy attacking food attacking the water supply obviously you know attacking the grid the, these are all the primary targets so again when you think about well where is a safe place to be if you're right next door to a military base that's not good if you know <laughs> you have again um something like this rolling through your backyard that's not good you know these these times are going to be very very challenging uh, Erdogan, the president of Turkey, visited Egypt for the first time in 12 years. He was greeted by the president, al-Sisi. And here you go. This is part of that alignment, which I, I do think is going to culminate in a incredibly massive response to uh, the Palestinian, Palestine, Gaza, Israel situation. And, you know, in fact, uh, Israel's days are probably numbered as we know it. When we look to the DEAGL numbers, um, 
it is one of those places that seems to have a massive reduction. And then, of course, there's uh, extremely high, one of the highest percentages uh, on the planet where the population did a certain thing. And you guys know what we're talking about there. And obviously that's going to be showing itself because not all batches are equal. And I know you guys get that too. This just shows you uh, the craziness of this world at this point in time. A car slammed into an Austin hospital. It, 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 it in fact went right through the emergency room doors and left at least one person dead, five injured. It was just craziness. The the injured have to had to be taken to other hospitals. And you know, I, I saw comments where people were saying, "Gosh, this reminds me of Stephen King's The Stand." You know, is it something like that? Is it something biological? Was the person having some sort of uh, thickening blood moment, if you know what we mean? You know, an accident with the the, the in front of it. Was this some sort of act of sabotage? They say that this there is no public health threat. They say this appears to be an accident. Um, we have a lot of craziness going on, a lot of craziness everywhere we look. The FBI is warning that MS-13 and a brutal Venezuelan migrant gang could join forces terrorizing New York cities. And it would be unusual to think of two of these groups working together. Well, no, not so unusual, especially when you realize that the cartels and, you know, the mafias of, of sorts that are all around uh, the globe, yeah, it's a revelation to some people, but not to all that, yeah, absolutely, you know, the <laughs> alphabet soups have worked with organized crime in the past. In fact, so much organized crime is, is really um, a way, again, of money laundering and of smuggling in consciousness, reducing drugs into the country, but whether they're legal or not, it, 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 it also gives another way of funding projects that couldn't be funded uh, if we, if the public was to know exactly what these projects were. Hey guys, it's the apocalypse. You know, this is this is what we are realizing. Uh, the reality is, you know, when when you're looking for the white hats in high places, there were no white hats in high places, and the white hats that might be there are at best in middle management. And, you know, they, they're fearful of doing anything because if they move against the system, well, it's like moving against these guys. What do you think happens? Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes you're just really, really in, in a spot and say you do have all the good intentions in the world to be had. But the problem is, is you're still surrounded by you're still surrounded by lizards, you know? I mean, what are you going to do? And I, I would suggest if, if you are one, hold your light, hold steady. It will make a difference. It will help in some way, shape, or form. Sometimes we're not meant to see what we are capable of doing because that might um, alter our, our, our life path and what we want to do using our free will. But like I always say, if you don't, if you don't know what to do, do the dishes. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know you always said that. <laughs> well, the dishes are done a lot around here. <laughs> <laughs> well, with Rama and Sita, yes, absolutely true. Nobody left to have children. Think about that statement. Nobody left to have children. Ukraine conscription efforts to decimate birth rates. Think about what we have seen from, uh, you know, all these different sources, DEA, GEL, Georgia, you know, stones that are blown up, the, you know, Council of 300, on and on and on, Club of Rome. We have Stanley Johnson with his statements, you know, saying that you only need about one out of every six or one out of every seven people that are in the UK to actually be there. That's all that's really, you know, the island should be able to handle. And nobody left to have children. E e yeah, you know, you you're wiping out a whole generation in Ukraine and now they're going to go global and they're going to wipe out, you know, a whole generation. This, this is what the system does. The system's told us its intentions and they're just simply doing it. 
And every time somebody, you know, gets bit by that patriotic bug and drinks the Kool-Aid and doesn't realize that they're just being a simple tool for the structure that is in place, the power structure, you're just simply serving uh, people like Stanley and Boris Johnson, uh, like Klaus, like Gil Bates, like, you know, go, the, the 46s of the world. It goes on and on and on. The Barry O's and Michael's. You're just serving their purpose because, you know, they want us to feel patriotic about our countries. Every one of us should, in their mind, think that we live in the best country, whatever country that is. That way, they can just turn us, face us off against each other, slap us on the butts, and we'll do all their dirty work for them. That's exactly what they have done. Mm -hmm. It's, 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 you know, they've done it very, very well. When it comes to organized crime, basically the CIA, FBI, they do not like competition. So they go ahead and just go and do all the hiring and, and fix everything so they can have the network for themselves. As long as they're in control, they are okay. I don't see too many good guys in this world when it comes to the control structure. And I think it's really important to remember when we're moving forward and, and making uh, moves for ourselves and getting ourselves structured and set up. Remember that there's really no intention to come and help you, but there's every intention to tear this country down and do bad things. Yeah, we were talking about on that Patreon own, only uh, video yesterday how you have people starting to paint their roofs blue in Chile because they understand the bigger picture. They're out there rapidly, like buying up blue paint, painting roofs and houses blue. Why? Well, it's a nice color. I mean, I love blue. But no, it's because they see what's happening. And again, we all know what's happening. It's well, you know, you guys know, every single one of you that's listening to this probably understands the bigger picture. Um, but how do we get it across to others? That's that's the thing. Well, we got to be bold. We got to just say it as it is. It's, Chile's going through a situation similar to Hawaii. Do you know there's all sorts of plans in place for smart cities in Chile? You know, this is a, a good but sad example. If, if the government did want to help, why aren't they hauling in truckloads of blue paint? Yet they still know what's going on, but they're not. And here you have the United States Congress introducing a biosafety bill to prevent some biochemical companies of the CCP from getting hold of big data on the biology of Americans through cooperation with American country, companies. It, well, the fact of the matter is, you know, look to who controlled 23andMe, who controls the parent company of, uh, you know, YT, Google, Alphabet. They're all intertwined in this, and, and they've all been part of, of the plants that are underway. Um, I got to share with you guys, I do see things that are a little heartening because now it seems that whenever we do for the most part, um, ask or disagree with uh, YouTube on the demonetization, uh, it seems like it's getting reversed in a positive direction lately. That could change because at the same time, it was just like maybe six to eight weeks ago that they removed a whole bunch of videos. It was just, you know, oh, well, yeah, this, this came down, that came down, this came down, that came down. Uh, but I do see at the same time, like I was putting one up the other day and I said to Cindy, oh, they demonetized that. And I put in to ask for a human review. And by the time I was finished, it boggled my mind, five, 10 minutes later, they okayed it. And it was because a human looked at it. So the AI will flag things and the AI scans for all sorts of words and, and phrases and watches what's going and it's doing one thing but it seems that some of the people inside are are saying nope and they're overruling it that makes me take heart that makes me feel good and, and i'm really happy to see that and so you know i ask please do send your prayers and your intentions that those people inside all these instruments that the system uses whether it's the alphabet soups the military uh, or in the high po political positions, you know, may they understand truly what's going on. May their consciousnesses, 
their conscience and their consciousnesses not allow them to go ahead with the status quo anymore and may they find their find their voice i second that absolutely by the way cdc food supply cheese products listeria recall yeah absolutely <laughs> under assault american food supply is almost all entirely toxic purposefully yeah you know there's in and meanwhile we do have a listeria outbreak Besides that, link to queso fresco and cotilla cheese. Cotilla cheese. So 11 states affected, two deaths, dozens hospitalized. Um, they were sold under the 365 brand by Whole Foods and Trader Joe's brand. Some foods also sold at Costco. Uh, product recall. I'll give you guys um, the links as always. This affects California, Colorado, Arizona, Texas, Tennessee, North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Nevada, Oregon, and Washington. So, you know, just be aware of this. Um, you know, again, our food supply itself is very, very toxic. And when I see Trader Joe's and I see Whole Foods, you know, well, Whole Foods is now owned by Amazon. So you got to be very, very careful there because that's going to Mr. Bezos. Um but the reality is, uh, again, I, I think they, they do target a lot of times stuff that you think is going to be safe, like with the dog foods, you know, fiasco that was out there. Um, you know, I just made a big batch today for the dogs, uh, all organic, locally sourced for the most part. This um, I thought was just kind of cool because if you do have a terrace or, you know, a very, very limited uh, backyard and you really want watermelons uh, this is a way to kind of do it still takes space up of course you could make it smaller um, he germinates them in little plastic cups and then he he filled the soil himself of course you could you could buy a bag of soil and then just grow a couple plants in the bag of soil itself people do this with sweet potatoes and regular potatoes we're going to go heavy on sweet potatoes and, and melons this year. Um, pretty cool. Uh, he, I'll give you guys the link. This is Terrace Garden Ideas. There's so many um, really cool channels out there that give you great ideas. Sleepy Lizard, Ripe Tomato Farm, Simplify Gardening. Uh, it goes on and on and on with the, with the possibilities. There's always somebody way smarter than me when it comes to, you know, thinking uh, out of the box and like growing things. Uh, but, you know, hey, we, we're going to be doing our best and we're going to be getting going uh, with our spring gardening very shortly now. And we're going to love it. Absolutely. You know, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all the people all of the time. This is part of the big realization Fool me once, fool me twice. Well, how many times has the control system fooled you? And it's okay. You know, they've gotten all of us at some point in time with, with something. It's just not allowing them to do it anymore. Stepping outside and waking up others in droves because we need to rely on each other. We need to find people that we resonate with, whether near or far. Although at some point in time, it may be that you really have to uh, work more closely with those in your neighborhood, so to speak, because, you know, I do anticipate there being periods of time in the not too distant future where we won't be able to communicate very via the in internet or even our cell phones uh, at times. It's coming, so be prepared, guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you see something for what it is, don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. Just call it what it is. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.